Hello everyone. Uh, over the next uh, five to seven minutes, I will try to summarize uh, our webinar that you have just recorded and to be available very soon on the website of IA.ca uh, about the economic trends and, uh, uh, and a few words about the stock market. So if you start with the big picture, uh, now we are heading to the longest uh, business cycle ever. So it's interesting. Uh, we have the experiment 125 months non-stop of economic growth in U.S. And that's according to the statistics, the longest business cycle ever. So it's very impressive to have 10 years non-stop without any recession. Usually it's more around six years, but uh, they have short business cycle, long business cycle. But let's say when you have an economic cycle without too much cost pressure, too much inflationary pressure, it's a good recipe to have a sustainable economic cycle. So uh, on our dashboard, we have no uh, red f uh, flash or whatsoever. Uh, we see that all ind indicators suggest that you will have a sustainable economic recovery. We do not see any recession in the next uh, two years. Having said that, there is always risk factor. When you talk about business cycle, uh, among the risk factor, it, this time is not about interest rate. The risk factor this time is maybe two risk factor is about first this huge stimulus that you have in U.S. side, so they will start to fade uh, two years from now. That could create some slowdown in economic activity. So depending how the overseas economy will perform at that time, that could create some slowdown in U.S. But the second risk factor, and it's all the headline, is about the trade war that we have right now. So they have this uh, trade war, ongoing trade war uh, with uh, China. So uh, we have Mr. Trump who want to impose additional tariff, 25% uh, tariff on additional 200 billions, and maybe China will retaliate. So we have to follow that file. Uh, to, for the time being, we do not see a recession coming, but all the experts uh, suggest that you could have some impact next year in terms of economic activity, not to mention impact on earnings as well. We have seen high-profile companies like Apple who has mentioned that this tariff could hurt uh, their bottom line. In terms of uh, trade war, we have this NAFTA negotiation as well. Uh, never I thought that six months ago that you have a bilateral deal U.S.-Mexico without Canada, but here we are. We have this, uh, this uh, uh, situation. Uh, I remain optimistic that you will have a, a deal to be reached with Canada, between Canada and U.S. on the NAFTA, because uh, keep in mind that even many members of the Congress in U.S., even many high-profile Republicans, has mentioned loud and clear to Mr. Trump that you will have no deal at all if, NAF if Canada is not included in the NAFTA 2.0. So this is uh, here a bargaining chip for Canadians. So we will see. We have to make some compromise. But I assume since it's very important, our trade with U.S. is 25% Canadian economy, that you will have some compromise to be reached. And Mr. Trudeau will find a common ground and you will have a, an after deal. It's important. They will have an implication on Bank of Canada and the Canadian dollar. As far as the Bank of Canada is concerned, they took a pass last week, no increase of interest rate, but I think they will resume interest rate increase. Over the next uh, 12 months, we think that you will have probably 100 business points increase by Bank of Canada. And the Canadian dollar, as we speak, is around 75, 76 cents. Uh, we assume that the uh, Canadian dollar will be much closer to 80 cents by next spring than 75 cents that we have right now. As far as uh, U.S. interest rate is concerned, uh, we think that with this strong economic growth that we have in the U.S., they will continue to normalize interest rate. The good news is the fact that now the Fed is closer to the, what we call the neutral zone. So after the Fed hike that we will have uh, this fall and maybe this uh, winter, uh, probably they will go on the sideline next spring uh, because you will have the Bank of Japan and the Bank of uh, European Central Bank will probably uh, start to uh, go with interest rate increase. So we will see, but uh, the good news is in our case, it's more gradual interest rate increase, and they will not put at risk this current, this current economic expansion. Shifting gear to the stock market and capital market, uh, it's interesting time. Uh, year to date, uh, we have, uh, unfortunately, Canada, TSX, who has gone sideways. But if you go on the U.S. side, the S&P 500 delivered a 9% return, including dividend. 
In Canadian dollar the magnitude is 14 percent so it's still very impressive. So question uh, how long it will last? Uh, do we have still few left in the tank as far as Wall Street is concerned? Because uh, just like we have the longest business economic expansion, we have now the longest bull market ever since 1928. So, uh, but yes, it's the longest bull market, but it's not the most spectacular. Even if this bull market has delivered in average 15, 16% annual per year on the S&P 500 since uh, 2009, it's ranked number eight in terms of how impressive was the rally. So it's interesting to see that. So uh, make no mistake, this market is no cheap, but it's not a bubble. It's not overvalued. Uh, in fact, it traded at 16.5 times forward earnings, which is basically an average of the last 25 years. So do we still have a few left in the tank? I asked before. We believe yes, but uh, we have to reduce our expectation. Uh, when you have a yield curve flattening as we have right now and at this stage of economic cycle, we think that it's more reasonable uh, to assume that uh, performance of the stock market in the U.S. will be probably more plus 5, plus 10 percent in average for the next three years rather than plus 15. Even if you have great earnings, people notice that in fact you will have higher interest rate. In our strategy, uh, even if Canadian stocks has underperformed a lot U.S., given that we have a lot of discount on the Canadian stocks and Canadian banks, for example, who trade pretty cheap, and the discount is one of the biggest discount ever seen in 10 years, we think that Canadian stocks if I'm right that you have a deal rich on the NAFTA, will probably outperform the, Canadian, the U.S. stocks over the next uh, uh, 6 to 12 months. So we have to see. But bottom line, we invite you to consult our document and the website will be available. And each time, it's important to diversify your portfolio. Uh, financial advisor IA are there to help for you. And keep in mind, uh, it, the most important recipe for the long term is to have a well-diversified portfolio. Have a great fall.